let us discuss one real life like problem that is the car parking application. So, what is the problem and what is the description of the problem let us discuss that one. So, this is the description of the operation of the car parking application. So, what is the operation is there to enter the car parking zone the driver pushes the push button PB1 to issue a ticket after the vehicle is on the sensor S1. Here the sensor is nothing but a load sensor. Okay. The ticket will be issued if and only if the car parking zone is having some space to park the car. Here for the sake of simplicity we have taken that this car parking zone can park maximum 3 cars at a time. But obviously in the real life like situations we will be having 300 cars in that case. So, that is not an issue we can increase the counter value respectively accordingly. So, now when the car is parking zone is having enough space then the ticket will be issued and the car will be moving from sensor S1 to S2. So, when the car will be on S2 and if the ticket has been issued already then the door D1 will open that is the entrance door. So, door D1 will open and the car will leave sensor S2 and it will go to the inside of the car parking zone which will be sensed by the sensor S3. Then the opening door that is the entry door, door will get closed accordingly. Here the door has been labeled as entry barrier D1. So, when the car will go will leave the sensor S3 because already it has entered into the car parking zone and when the car will get parked. So, the sensor S3 will be released cannot sense the car in that case the counter will get increased. If the initial counting value is 1 then the counter value will become 2 in that case. So, now while leaving the car will be made available on the sensor S4 and then the driver will push the push button PB2 for the exit request. Then the exit door that is D2 will get opened and in the case the car can move from sensor S4 to S5. When the car will reach to sensor S5 then the exit door here it is D2 will get closed. In the case the car will leave S5 and the counter in the meantime has got decreased by 1 so that a new car can get an entry to uh, get some space there in the car parking zone. So, that is the problem description. So, let us go for this diagram for the better understanding. So, the car will be at S1 pressing the PB1 switch then the car will be going to S2 and this PB1 switch means the issue the ticket. I told you earlier the ticket will be issued if and only if the parking zone is having some space. The capacity here we have taken as 3 cars obviously that might be the 3000 or 300 cars in that case. So, now what will happen if the car has got the ticket then only the car will move to S2 and when the car will be moved to S2 and ticket has been issued already then this barrier entry barrier D1 will open the car will come to the sensor S3. So, at this particular moment the counter will get increased by 1 and this entry barrier will get closed. The car will be parked in the parking zone. When any one of the cars which has which have got parked already will be moved to S4 and pressing this that is the formality that is the exit push button PB2 then this barrier will get open and the car will be moved to S5 the barrier will get closed and the counter will get decreased by 1. So, here we have mapped that sensor S1, S2, S3, S4, S5 uh, they will be used for which purposes and this PB1 and PB2 for the issue ticket and for the exit door request. So, PB1 and PB2 are there and in this way we have mapped. Now, here we have considered only the S1, S2, S3. So, let us get it get them marked or get them mapped with the respective inputs and outputs. So, here we have written this it is I1, I2, I3, I4, I5 these are the sensors. So, to the PLC they will be nothing but inputs and these are the doors are there. So, they, they will get operated through the outputs of the PLC and these are the respective push buttons and they are also the respective inputs to the and to this particular application. So, in this way the things are taking shape. So, now there is a one sample that is a PLC wearing diagram for this one. Depending upon the model of the PLC and some other features this uh, PLC wearing diagram can get also have some little bit uh, alterations. 
So, this is the PLC we are having and this is my input terminals and this is the common and these are their set of inputs are there and sensors have got connected to the inputs along with the push buttons and this is the respective output terminals. So, here we are having this issue ticket signal, we are having this door 2 control signal and we are having this door 1 control signal. So, one sample PLC wiring diagram has given to you for the better understanding and all these inputs and outputs have got labeled. So, now we shall go for the practical implementation of this problem. So, before going for the demonstration, you can pause the video and you can write the respective PLC application for yourself and test it in the simulation mode and all. Otherwise, you can go for the demonstration. So, let us go for the practical demonstration of this car parking problem application. We have constructed the ladder diagram for car parking problem and here we shall explain this ladder diagram and also we shall test it in the simulation mode. So, here whatever you have done, we have done the mapping between our respective inputs and outputs. So, these sensors S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, they have been mapped with input 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. This push button will be I6 and this push button for exit will be I7. Exit door, so the required output will be Q2 that is exit door and Q1 is the entry door and Q3 will be the output when the ticket will be issued. So, in this way we have done the respective mapping of inputs and outputs and we shall uh, keep one memory variable that is M1 to denote that the ticket is issued when M1 is high. So, in this way we have done this uh, labeling and we have done this mapping with the respective sensors and the inputs and outputs and so on. So, now let me come to the ladder diagram. So, let me discuss that what are the labeling we have done for inputs and outputs. So, I1 to I5, sensor 1 to sensor 5, I6, I7 I told you earlier that is the push button 1 and push button 2, Q1, Q2 are door 1 and door 2 and Q3 is denoting issue ticket and you have put the respective uh, comments accordingly so that it will be easy for you to understand. Okay, now here we are having one up down counter. We know that in case of up down counter, the first uh, connection will be the reset connection. So, it will be high, then the counting will be reset. But I have made that one connected with the low so that the reset will not be enabled anytime. And this is our respective counting. So, this counting input is there. So, this counting will be done in case of up counting when the card is taking an entry and in case of down counting when the car will exit the car parking place and we know that there is another one that is known as the direction and this direction will be denoted by this issue ticket we know that if you go for the respective help we know that the direction if the is equal to 0 then it will be done the up counting and direction will be 1 if the direction is 1 then it will go for the down counting so that's why we have made this particular uh, Q3. So, when it is high, that means it, here we have taken this one as a break contact. So, it will become low. So, we shall go for the up counting because the card is taking an entry, ticket has been issued. And when this car will be uh, exiting from the car parking place, in that case Q3 will be low. So, its corresponding break contact will be high. So, it will go for the down counting. So, the same counter will count up or count down when the card will be taking an entry or it is taking an exit accordingly respectively. So, this is my first two rounds. Now, here we are having this M1. I told you this one that M1 will be denoting that and this M1 is denoting that the ticket has been issued. So, it has been done here. So, the ticket has been issued. This sort of uh, state will be hold in this M1 memory variable. So, now this is our entry door and this is our exit door and this is the last run of the ladder diagram. So, let me explain it. So, now when the ticket will be issued, when card is at the sensor 1 and the counting is low, that means the counting is low means uh, the number of cards existing within the card parking zone is less than 3 and to issue this push button has been pressed then until it reaches to the sensor 2, the issue ticket will be on. 
and obviously when it will reach to the sensor 2 the sensor 1 will be off this particular push button will be released initially the number of count was set 2 now it will become 3 so it will become high so its break contact will become low so that's why we are having a parallel path here this latching we have done on this q3 okay so this is our up down counter here we have explained this one earlier also so when the card will come so that means when the request to open that is a sensor 2 the card is on the sensor 2 and ticket has been issued then you should go for the counting here it will be the up counting because in that situation this issue ticket will be high and its break contact will be zero and when the direction will be equal to zero then the counter will be going for the up counting but when the counter will be uh, going for the down counting then also this car exit this particular sensor that is sensor 5 sensor 5 means the last sensor when the car is leaving the car parking zone so when it will be high then the counting will be done but at that time this q3 is becoming zero so its break contact will be high so it, here the down counting will take place so now we are having only two three rounds to explain further so ticket has been issued this particular state will be marked by the memory variable one so when the ticket will be issued and until we reach to the sensor 3 sensor 3 means already we have crossed the uh, input barrier that is the door one so that means we have entered into the card parking zone automatically so until i reach to the sensor 3 this ticket has been issued so it will make this m1 on okay now what is the entry door when ticket has been issued i request to open that means the card is waiting on the sensor 2 and until it reaches to the sensor 3 the door will remain open and there is a parallel path here because when it will leave the sensor 2 then also the car should uh, this door should remain open because until and unless it reaches to the sensor 3 so that's why it is having a latch here now in case of exit what will happen the card will be found on sensor 4 and push button has been pressed that means request for exit then until it reaches to the sensor 5 so this output that is the exit door will remain open and there is a latch here so that when the push button will be released and from the sensor for the car will, will leave so in that case also this door should remain open until it reaches to the sensor 5 and then when it will leave this particular sensor 5 then obviously the car has successfully exit from the system so this is the uh, ladder diagram i have explained you might be finding some different logic here so obviously that is uh, quite obvious because a same uh, practical application can be done in different types of ladder diagrams, functional block diagrams and so on. So this is the logic which I am discussing. You do your own logic and implement the same. So let me go for the simulation at first. So we shall go very slow so that we can easily understand what is happening. You see initially the uh, counter is having the value 0. So the one car has reached to sensor 1 an issue ticket has been requested so issue ticket mode has been enabled and q3 is on that means the issue ticket is on q1 q2 they are not on because the door hasn't opened yet so now the card will leave sensor 1 and reach to sensor 2 you see the door in is now open so entry door is now open so now the card will leave sensor 2 you see still it is open so the card is moving to sensor 3 which is inside the car parking zone and the door has been closed and now the car will leave the sensor 3 and it will park accordingly and in the meantime just watch the counter has become one here now let us make an entry of another car so another car has arrived at i1 issue ticket has been requested and it has been successfully granted so it has relieved, it left this uh, sensor 1 and come to sensor 2 so gate is open so sensor 2 has been left it is released and now the card has come to sensor 3 so the gate has become closed so it will leave this i3 so it will it has gone to the card parking zone accordingly so now counter has become 2 let us make an entry of another card another card has reached issue ticket has been uh, requested and has been sanctioned leaving i1 coming to i2 door has opened so now the door has opened this leaving this i2 sensor 2 it has come to sensor 3 the door has been closed now the car has gone to the required parking zone so counter has become 3 
so if next time any card comes then that card should not get an entry there so according to our logic because here we have made this on that is 3 plus and off 3 plus we are having a separate video on this up on counter and this up down counter we are having a separate video please watch that one for the better understanding so another card has come and it has requested for the issue ticket but you see the issue ticket mode is not getting enabled so the card is waiting at sensor 1 in the meantime one card has come to that is a sensor 4 I requested for exit so clicking on this push button so now the door 2 that is the exit door has become open now the car has left this uh, sensor 4 still the door is open the car is going through the door coming out and now the car is on sensor 5 the door has got closed counter has got decremented to 2 and then, then the car has left sensor 5 another car has come to sense I, I4 and then requested for exit so get to that is our uh, exit door has opened so now the car has left sensor 4 and coming to the sensor 5 zone so now date, uh, gate has been closed and the car has left so in the meantime the counter has become 1 in the meantime this car is again placing a request for the issue ticket the ticket has been issued so now it is leaving I1 sensor 1 and coming to sensor 2 so door has opened and now it has released this sensor 2 and coming to sensor 3 so the door has been closed and the counter has been incremented from 1 to 2 so in this way the car parking problem is working uh, fine and there is no flaw here everything is working fine and we have done the rigorous testing here and in this way we can also increase this obviously a car parking zone cannot have should not have only 3 cars to be parked so in the real life problem we will be changing this counter value Otherwise, this ladder diagram will be working fine in the real life applications also. Please try to uh, solve the same problem with the, some other logic. Okay, so try to get it done and please communicate with us through our comment block. We have, please leave your comments, your issues, your doubts and if you require any clarifications, you can share them in the comment block and we shall do the needful communications accordingly. Thanks for watching this video.